eight from three. Uh, Stu, it did seem like the Lakers were pretty engaged defensively in contesting uh, many of those looks, though, so I guess they get some credit for it, right? Uh, yeah. Lakers come in ranked 17th defensively, 23rd on offense. Conversely now, Portland is the eighth angle to get it in. Catch and shoot for Carmelo! Nothing but net, yes, sir! That Feeling it tonight, you know. All about the red hot start at home he had at the beginning of this season. McCollum finally scores from the outside. Hey. The Lakers are contesting him at least. A couple of big uh, steps. No basket. Should no be a basket. That should be a basket. It's an erroneous call. 33-21. The they finally make a free. Guess who has shot them all? Man who is on the line. Here's Dennis Smith Jr. Finally got his contract guaranteed in January. He's bounced around the league. McLemore, long shot, long rebound. Smith Jr.'s got it again. He can't score. Tipped up and in. Underneath by Watford. Whether you make it or not, just you get yourself in a position to take it. He's really a, the rim seeker. He's trying to get into the paint so much so that he's out of control. Norman Powell, the former Bruin, played four years there. Possession, you'll see a couple of substitutes come back. Good fly by that time. Underneath is Dwight. He scores. Down by baseball. Four, three. Uh, hit him on the forearm. Hey, Laker fans, all right, here we go. Tacos are on the line this game, as they are every night. Like forever, Stu. It's his birthday. So, oh, to happy, Mark Wiedemann. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Mark. On the trade block in Portland. Figured they found their man to get deep into the playoffs. Didn't quite work out that way. And Simons glides in and shooting in the paint. So you can only imagine that uh, they will start shooting the ball better. They fire it into the corner, trying to find Nurkic. Six and a half to play, second quarter. Lakers have led the whole way. Covington flies in to get an offensive rebound. Nurkic lets go of three and hits it. He's not a bad for three-point shooter. He got the pass, immediately looked at the shot clock, recognized it was low, took the shot. That's just a smart play. Yeah, he will definitely take them. He's shooting a little over 20%, but he's not afraid to take them. And you can see it was a it was a nice-looking shot by Nurkic. Well, there are very few players that are afraid to take them. Yeah. They take them whether they can shoot them or not. 37-32. Lead is five. Biggest lead was 13. Down to one. And Russ goes all the way to the cup to beat the clock. That's just bad defense, though. I mean, you got the shot clock at four. And you allow a guy like anybody, but especially Russell Westbrook, who wants to go to the paint to get to the front of the rim. That's especially where their defense is poor, right around the rim, too. Is it two in a row for Nurkic? It is. It's a four-point game, despite the fact the Lakers are over 50%. And the uh, Blazers are at 32. This is, a, this is a team that beat the Lakers by 15 in early November in Portland. Russ can't get into the paint. He was bumping Simons. Austin Reeves got tapped that time, Stu. Yeah, a little, little flat on the shot. That had a little bit more arc on it. It probably goes down. Simons. They've hit three in a row from downtown. And it is a one-point game timeout lakers um, the inability for the lakers to just come out of that timeout in a zone well, it's an 11-2 portland run and we've only got five minutes to go here in the half malik monk been a slow start for him nurkic so fly swats it back carmelo with seven to shoot davis has nurkic in front of him he nearly throws it away it's anthony just throwing it up and throwing it in when you're hot you're hot. I bet. That was solely to beat the shot clock. Simon. So they started the quarter one for seven. Now they're six for their last eight. Lakers are up by four after that Carmelo shot. Two things have to happen. We get another look at Carmelo uh, knocking down a shot to beat the clock. Look at that. One second, you can see it, but. Doesn't matter to Carmelo. He's got the hot hand. He's got 16 on seven shots. Four for four from three. Again, the only Laker in double figures. The only other player in the game in double digits is Nurkic with a dozen. Skipping into the lane is Russ. And he throws it up and laid in by AD. Well, he hesitated while in the air is a good thing because when he initially left his feet, he wanted to pass it, but it wasn't available really. He waited a split second and gets his fifth assist. AD on the way with eight points. Four rebounds, a couple of assists so far in the contest. And the lead has been bumped back to six. 
Make it three. They cut it in half on a Simons downtown jumper. You knew they weren't going to shoot poorly, that poorly from the field all game long. They're starting to heat up. Uh, you know, he had that eight points the other night, but he was red hot from downtown in the previous seven games as AD goes to the basket and off the window. Well, foot speed favor, <laughs> favors Anthony Davis. He just blew by Nurkic. They doubled up on Simons a bit. Little do or die that time for AD, so they got numbers down low, and they take advantage of it with a little sweeper that time by Nurkic. Anthony Davis went for that steal, and when he didn't come up with it, that put the rest of the team in a bad defensive position. So matching basket for basket. The rest will toss it out to Carmelo Anthony. Malik Monk will back it up in the attacking zone. Going to get a foul on Simons. That's going to be a team foul number four. So ball out of both. The team foul. So they're a little slow putting that one up on the board. Normally they're very quick here on the scoreboard. Carmelo Anthony will be going to the line to shoot a pair. What a half for Carmelo. Lakers overall shooting 56%. They're 6 for 13 from 3. And a lot of those big numbers due to this guy right here, Carmelo Anthony. Hey, stay connected with your team on the official Lakers mobile app. It's powered by BBGo. Follow each game with highlights, post-game interviews, photo galleries, and more. Download to your iPhone or Android right now. Been talking about how hot Carmelo is, but his most of his damage has been from the perimeter. He's six out of seven. Nurkic is also six out of seven. Simons has three fouls. So one of their key players is done for the half. 